this is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, June the 4th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's get right to it. It's going to be a wet one. A satellite image this morning showing that we have a great deal of clouds over just about all of the southeastern U.S., uh, maybe a few spots of some sunshine over the South Carolina area. The weather map features a large high-pressure system that is over the Carolinas, and that is bringing a good moist uh, flow, a southerly flow into the southeastern U.S. and keeping us very, very moist. Add to that an upper air feature. We have this rather uh, large but weak trough over uh, parts of uh, Oklahoma and Texas, and uh, that is moving very slowly across the southeastern U.S. and will be moving along the Gulf Coast along with a surface low that will keep things wet through about uh, early Wednesday morning. Temperatures this morning, very mild in the lower 70s, so it is quite uh, humid out there as well with most of the dew points uh, very close to the temperature readings. Uh, not seeing much in the way of fog, but there's a little bit of fog out there. The radar uh, looks sort of like it has the measles this morning. Uh, we have a good deal of uh, very light showers over uh, Alabama and expect to see more showers. As a matter of fact, the QPF is looking like one to two inches. Now, not everybody's going to get the same amount. You know, you look at this map and you, you say, well, it's uh, two inches over the whole area. Not really. It's kind of the maximum value they're expecting. So I would say it's more in the range of one to two. I know yesterday I was kind of a between showers. Uh, never did get any measurable rain at my house. Storm Prediction Center has two uh, slight risk areas, one over the northwestern uh, part of the United States, the north central Rockies, and then one uh, along uh, the uh, eastern part of the Great Lakes from uh, parts of northwestern Pennsylvania across northern Ohio into uh, northeastern Indiana. The uh, marginal risks on day two are uh, across the eastern Great Lakes states and uh, up into uh, the western Dakotas. And then on day three, we have a marginal risk over uh, southeastern Georgia and uh, north Florida, as well as uh, over uh, parts of extreme west Texas and eastern New Mexico. Tropics remain quiet. There's a lot of clouds going on in the tropics uh, over the eastern um, part of the tropics, that is the uh, tropical Atlantic. And then over the eastern uh, Pacific, we see that there's still a good deal of clouds, but uh, nothing going on there, too. The GFS is going to have a surprise for all of us. There's a look at the uh, surface forecast for today. And, of course, uh, we do have just a lot of showers going on over the area, so it looks pretty likely for showers in most loca locales. Uh, the the uh, precipital water values are just way up there. If you'll notice, they, uh, the orange areas over the southeastern U.S. kind of go into the orange, and that's over two inches. So precipital value uh, water is very, very high. And if you kind of squint your eyes, I think you can kind of see the shape of a dog coming out of Florida into South Alabama. Okay, so much for that. Uh, the upper air chart for Monday shows that uh, upper uh, trough coming uh, across the eastern part of Texas and southeast Texas, actually showing a little bit of a closed low there. That's going to help to generate a surface low over that area. Not a particularly strong surface low, but the result is we're just going to stay wet. And that's pretty much the story. Tuesday, that trough is moving slowly across to reaching the vicinity of New Orleans, and that's still keeping us very, very wet. But the good news is that on Wednesday, it looks like that closed low over the eastern Great Lakes will have uh, an impulse coming around it that will help to phase with that weak trough over the southeastern U.S., and that's going to finally sweep things out of the area so that on Wednesday we should see improving weather. And with that northwesterly flow that we see strongly on Thursday, we should see lower humidities with uh, dew points forecast to drop into the lower 50s. So Thursday and again on Friday as that northwesterly flow continues and that lower humidity stays with us, even though the temperatures are, uh, will still be in the 80s, that lowered humidity will feel nice. By Saturday, we're beginning to come under the edge of the ridge to our west uh, as the trough moves uh, out into uh, uh, New England and off the eastern coast of the U.S., but fortunately, with the high pressure in place over our area, it looks like we should stay dry for Saturday. And the same for Sunday. Uh, the ridge definitely in place as uh, the uh, traveling weather systems are pushed pretty far north. And that keeps us 
with uh, the high and not getting a, a real fast return. The return coming up over parts of uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, eastern Texas, but not over our area just yet. So suspect Sunday will also be an, a good day, but humidity levels coming up. All right, getting out into voodoo country, and uh, the GFS is very, very bullish on that upper ridge. It's got a closed low, uh, and if you uh, measure this carefully, it should be a 591 value. So a very strong upper uh, ridge there. And then some interesting mischief going on. We get out to the 16th, and look at that. It has a, what appears to be a tropical system in the vicinity of Bermuda, out in the Atlantic. Wow. Well, if that isn't good enough for you, how about by the time we reach the 19th? Oh, my gosh, look at that. It has a well-developed system, apparently, in the central Gulf of Mexico, south of Mobile. Oh, wow. Now you know what this is. This is voodoo country. Maybe it'll be there tomorrow. Maybe it won't. Probably won't. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's ever-changing weather pattern. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.